This is a parrot. This is the color yellow. This is an ear. This is the yellow-eared parrot, also known by its more common name, Agnrhynca citratus. Not to be confused with the yellow-shouldered parrot, it is most obviously in the kingdom Animalia, Phylum Corta, and Classus. However, not many know its order, Citaciformes, family, Citacidae, and genus. Agnrhynca citratus. Native to the montane, or cloud, forests of Ecuador and Colombia, this flying scarcity was recently downlisted from critically endangered to plain, old, boring and endangered. One very interesting snit is that some families have a third parent that helps out. The cloud forests where these parrots reside get their name from their low, moist cloud cover, anywhere from 500 to 4,000 miles above sea level. These forests get anywhere up to 1,000 centimeters of rainfall a year, but despite their proximity to the equator, the mean temperature is 47 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see, these birds inhabit a very small area. A very, very small area. This is partly due to these birds being highly residential, only staying where their limited food supply will allow them. They feed on the fruit of the wax palm tree, which have in the past been hunted viciously by evil humans for their mysterious religious ceremonies and pretty fences. Here is a traditional food web showing where the yellow-eared parrot stands in the forest. As you can see, the bear is the justice dealer at the top of the ecosystem, while the yellow-eared parrot sits happily as a primary consumer. These birds were suffering from the acts of violent humans, but are now repopulating due to the heroic acts of the radical human factions, pro avasa and the American Bird Conservancy. These secret societies have purchased land as a safe haven in both Ecuador and Colombia in order to preserve the precious lives of these birds by reintroducing more wax palm trees to the area. Audience, you want an opinion from me? Well, I think we should move some of these critters to a similar environment somewhere else in the world so that if something happens to the ones currently alive, there will be more somewhere else. Well, it is time for my tea.